Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, Jordan with my dad, Chavis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science video. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain the differences between natural occurring static electricity and human harnessed electricity. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain the differences between naturally occurring static electricity and human harnessed electricity. Before we get into static electricity, let's discuss the basis of an atom first. Everything you can think of is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms have even smaller pieces inside of them called protons, neutrons, and electrons. A proton has a positive charge and is found in the nucleus. An electron has a negative charge and orbits around the nucleus in the electron cloud. Electrons orbit or move so fast you can never really be sure where they are located. When an atom has the same number of electrons and protons, then it has a neutral charge. The neutron doesn't have any charge. The buildup of electric charge is called static electricity. When things have the same charge, they try to get as far away from each other as possible. Have you ever rubbed a balloon on your hair? What happens? Static electricity makes your hair stand up. Each hair has a negative charge and repels the other hairs. This is why we say opposite charges attract and like charges repel or move away from each other. Two protons or positive charges repel or move away from each other. Two electrons or negative charges also repel or move away from each other. Now let's dive into static electricity. We have all experienced static electricity. For example, have you ever been shocked when you touch something metal? Why does static electricity shock you more in the winter time? Have you ever tried to touch the wall when coming inside from the cold? Did you get zapped? You have probably felt this electric shock when touching other objects such as another person or a doorknob. This is caused when electrons rub off onto your body, leaving you with a negative static charge. When you reach for a light switch, you get a shock as the electrons jump from you to the switch. If the room is dark, you might have even seen the spark or heard the crackle of the static electricity. Static electricity is more noticeable during the winter months because the air is very dry. The humidity or moisture in the air during the summer helps electrons move more quickly, which makes it harder to build up a static electric charge in the summertime. When it is cold, the electrons move more slowly and this is what causes static charge to build up on an object or a person. This is why you tend to get shot more in wintertime than in the summertime. Lightning is one of the best examples of static or stationary electricity. Static electricity can happen during a storm when wind moves the air around very fast. This causes the charge in the clouds and on the ground to separate. The top of the clouds and the ground both get a positive charge. The bottom of the cloud gets a negative charge. When the change in the charges happens, the static electricity comes out in the form of lightning. Think about it. Opposites attract so the bottom of the cloud has a negative charge and it's attracted to the ground that has a positive charge. This is what you see with thunderstorms. Quick check for understanding. How do opposites attract during a thunderstorm with lightning? Where do these opposites attract? Take two minutes to think, pair, and share your answers. You've got this. Now let's talk about the differences between naturally occurring static electricity and human harness electricity. Static electricity is unpredictable, random, and cannot be controlled by humans, so it is not harnessed as a power source for us to use. Static electricity can be harmful to many things as well, especially electronics. You may have noticed that some people will unplug some major electronics like TVs, computers, and microwaves during a heavy thunderstorm. This is because these electronics have electronic chips that can be damaged by randomly moving static electric charges. Human harness electricity is different, meaning that the electricity is produced and controlled by humans. Humans use electric generators to make electricity for lights and other purposes. Like we stated earlier, human harness electricity can be controlled by humans. Human harness electricity is used to power many of the electronics we use today. Let's use your cell phone charger as an example. Notice that when you plug the charger into the wall, the flow of and amount of electricity is controlled from the wall outlet through the charger cord all the way to your phone. Also, think about the lights in your home, the TV that you could turn on and off and change the channel on, your microwave, your washer and dryer, and so many other electronics. Quick check for understanding. What are the differences between naturally occurring static electricity and human harnessed electricity? What do they both have in common? 
Take two minutes to fill out the top hat, compare and contrast diagram, and then share it with your teacher and classmates. We can't wait to hear all of your brilliant responses. And that's our video for today. Now set your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between naturally occurring static electricity and human harness electricity by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are hired for proficiency, record your results of proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.